Hello, and welcome back to another beer review with uh, me, Shaggy2061. This week we're going to review Oak Creek Brewing's Nut Brown Ale. Now, I love that bottle cap. So, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. There we go. Oh, damn. Ah. So, nice smooth pour. Interesting. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's definitely brown. So with the smooth pour, we're getting a uh, quite a bit of carbonation and a nice brown ale. No head. Mm. Now let's uh, get a little aggressive. Okay, so that's looking good. We're going to go ahead and call that a definitely carbonated beer. All the bubbles and everything are going nice and smooth. Um, <clears throat> it's got a good head on it. Mmm, nice, sweet, hoppy aroma. It's a 5.5. Five bottled in uh, Oak Creek Canyon, Sedona, Arizona, sorry, uh, 30 bittering units. Mm, there's something, there's a smell. I can't quite place. It definitely hops. It's not over hoppy. I mean, it's not, you know, like, I smell hops when I'm holding it here. It's got to get in close. There's a nice, good hop smell. That is smooth. That's a very smooth beer. Um, huh. Don't know how to describe the flavor. Nice mellow flavor. It's not overly hoppy. It's not underly hoppy. It's me middle of the road. It's smooth, but it's a little watery. It's you could slam this beer in one shot. Not that I'm going to. Head's pretty much gone. The carbonation, uh, it's still bubbling pretty good from the bottom. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm going to look it up on. Should have had this up. I'm slipping. I should have had up my uh, resources here. <clears throat> Beer Advocate gives it an 81. Um, see, it says a 6 on Beer Advocate, but right here on the bottle, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's a... Wow. Couldn't have been more off. It's a 5.5. Five. Yeah, that's not focusing in on it. Let's try this. Come on. It's right there in your face. Focus. It's not gonna. So, we tried. So, they give it an 81. Yeah, pretty much just coming up with what I'm coming up. Hmm. It is available year-round. It's not too cheap, but it's not too expensive. Um...
nothing really sticks out. I mean, you can taste all the usual grains in an ale. Um, a little bit of malt. But for the most part, that's it. Um, it's not bad by any by any definition of the word. Uh, but it's not... I don't know. I'm going to give it a six. Slightly above average. Would happily drink another, but probably wouldn't inspire to seek it out later. Um, if somebody brought it to a get-together or brought some over, I'd gladly share it with them. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it. There are ones I prefer. This one's just... Well... Okay, let's put it this way. I like to drink a Pabst PBR when I'm really thirsty or having a barbecue. You're out in the sun all day, just boom, boom, boom. You can put two or three down in a few sips. Or a few sips. A few, uh, a few drinks. So, you know, cool your body off. I would equate this to that. Better tasting, yes. Much better tasting. Um, but that's the kind of beer I'd put it at, is a beer that... You know, really, really ice cold. It's nice and hot out. You've been uh, working out. You've been sweating. You want something to chill you off? Right there. Mm. Unfortunately, given the price that I paid for it, a dollar sixty-nine a bottle on individuals, about eight dollars a sixer. I would still probably go with the PBR. No, I might go with this. But yeah, not too bad. Um, like I said, you can put this down no problem. Like that. It's a real easy beer. And this is going to be one of my short videos. Shortest so far. So far. Anyways, um, once again, I put that at a six, slightly above average. Uh, that was Oak Creek Nut Brown Ale. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.